What's up guys, Cheetah here, and today I'm bringing you an achievement slash platinum trophy walkthrough for PNF Mo Capsula. This game is published by Sometimes You, and you can pick it up on October 18th around 7pm CST for a price of $4.99, and there is currently a pre-order sale for only $3.99 if you want to pick it up right now. There's an Xbox One and an Xbox Series X slash S stack if you want to play both versions of the game to get an easy 2000G. So to get the full completion, it'll only take you around 25 minutes following along with this video. This is a easy puzzle game where we play as this little trolley here, and our objective is to deliver some mail. So starting off, you want to activate this coil here by holding down the A button while next to it, and then after that, you can make your way to the top here. And you can activate this second coil, and that's going to lower the ramp in front of us. And we can head up and follow this path until we get to the next coil. Once you get to this next coil here, go ahead and activate that. And after you activate it, head forward and you're going to fall down into the abyss. And that's going to unlock an achievement. And once you respawn, just make your way up the ramp in front of us here. And when you get to the top, go ahead and deactivate this second coil here that we activated earlier. That's going to raise the ramp in front of us and then we can follow this path here. And you can sprint by holding down the X button, so make sure you do that and follow this path for a bit. Once you make your way to the bottom here, we can activate this mail machine by shocking it, so go ahead and do that. And bear with me here, the controls are pretty weird, so we need to turn the machine on by pressing down on the left stick on the knob over on the left side. Make sure that says on, and then for the numbers, we can change those again using the left stick up or down. And we're going to enter 5520. And once you have that entered over on the right side, you need to hover over send, and then again press down or up on the left stick to send it. And if you do that correctly, that'll unlock the Postmaster achievement. And then from there, you can hold down on the A button to exit the machine. And then we can head to the right and head through this hole here. And that'll be the end of this section. Starting off here in the next area, head straight and activate the coil in front of us. And then we can follow this path here for a bit. Activate the coil here, and then we can head up. And up here, there's going to be three things that we need to activate. Starting with this one here. And then this one. And this one. And then once you do that, we can head back down the way we came. And we can deactivate the coil that we activated. And then we can head back over to the right. Interact with the machine here, and you want to flip the lever to on. Again, use the left stick up or down. Scroll over to the left side, and eventually you'll end up with in this section here with the three red buttons. Hover over the three red buttons, and make sure you activate all three of those, and the light should turn green. And then again, scroll back down towards the lever area, and then press this red button here, and that'll activate the machine. And then you can back out of this, and we can head up to the right side and interact with the post machine. And again, turn the knob up at the left side to on, and then we can enter 7934. And then press send over on the right side. Again, you'll have to use the left stick down. The controls are very weird. After you do that, hold the A button, and eventually that will back you out. And now basically we're just going to retrace our steps all the way back to the left side to the very beginning of the level. Once you get back to the start, deactivate the coil here, and then you can head up the ramp. Follow this path for a bit. Activate the first coil here and then head up the ramp to the right and all the way over on the right side you can deactivate this light bulb right here. Head back to the left and then activate the first coil and head up the ramp. 
up here, activate the coil, and then head up the ramp to the left, all the way over to the light bulb. Go ahead and deactivate this. And then head over to the right side and activate the first coil. Head up the ramp to the left. Head down here and then deactivate the coil at the end. And then head down to the right side. You want to be careful because you can fall off down here. You want to activate this coil. And then head over to the left side. Deactivate the light bulb. And now we're basically going to retrace our steps. So head back to the right. Activate this coil. Head up the ramp. Activate the coil at the top here. And then head up to the right. Activate this coil up here. Follow that up to the right side. Activate this coil here. Head up again. And then up here you can activate this coil. And now we can head over to the left. Activate this coil here and then head up to the top and follow this path for a bit. Activate the coil directly in front of us here. Apologies, I accidentally zoomed past it. Make sure you activate that and then head forward. And in this next area here, we can interact with the valve on the wall. Go ahead and shock that. And then spin that to the left side, just like this here. And again, shock it and back out. And then head to the left slightly, activate this cog on the ground. That'll open up the ramp in front of us. Head down here and shock the button. That'll activate the mail machine. And then we can head back and interact with the mail machine. Make sure you turn the knob on up at the left side. And this time we're going to enter 4509. And then go ahead and send that. And then we can back out and we can head back the way we came and we're going to deactivate that coil that we activated earlier. Deactivate the coil here and now we can follow the path in front of us. Interact with the machine here, turn it on, and this time we're going to enter 88, 82, and then press send and head to the next area. Interact with the machine, turn it on, and this time we're going to enter 81, 91, and then press send, and continue heading forward. Once you get to the light, deactivate it and then continue heading forward and deactivate the next one here at the end. Be careful not to fall off. After you deactivate it, feel free to fall off since it's actually slightly quicker. So just fall off and we'll respawn back at the start and then we can head to the left. And over here we need to deactivate this coil and head down. And then deactivate this coil here, head down to the right. And down here we can deactivate this light. 
then head to the left and follow the path for a bit. Deactivate the coil here and head down to the left. Deactivate this coil here and then head over to the right side and deactivate the light. And then from there we can head back the way we came. So head to the left, activate the coil, head up and over to the right side. Ignore this coil and continue heading to the right. Deactivate the light here. And then we can head back to the coil over on the left side. Activate this and head down. Deactivate this down here, and then we can head all the way over to the right for a bit. Activate this here, and head down to the left. And down here, we can deactivate the light over on the far left side. And then from there, we can head back to the right the way we came. Apologies, you're going to see me activate this coil here. We don't have to activate it since the ramp is already down. So ignore that. Apologies. We can head up the ramp and head over to the right. Continue heading all the way over to the right. Deactivate the light up here, and then we can head back down to the left the way we came. You can ignore this first coil here, and we're going to activate the second one and head down to the bottom left. And then down here, we can activate this coil. And then we can head all the way up to the right side and we can deactivate the light. For some reason this light here was really hard to see, but make sure you deactivate it and then head back the way we came. Activate the coil and head up. Continue heading to the right up here. Activate this coil. And then head over to the left side. And we can activate this coil here and head up to the right. Interact with the red switch here and then turn that on with the left stick. And then from there, if you press the A button, you should be highlighted over this black object here. And then from there, we can raise that up or down and we can turn that left or right. And each time we do that, it's going to change the number up at the top screen. And we need to change the first two numbers to 76. And then press A to switch to the red one. And then we're going to change the numbers to 32. So again, that's 76, 32. From there, you can electrocute it and back out and head to the left side, interact with this machine here, and then just press down on the left stick. And if you enter that correctly, that should send the little postcard.
From there, interact with the switch again. And we're going to enter another number combination. This time, we're going to enter 79, 21. And then back out, head back to the machine on the left. And send that one as well. Interact with the machine again. And we're just going to change the 9 to a 6. So that should be 76, 21. And then you can back out and send that one as well. Head back to the switch. And this time we're going to enter 79. Zero, zero. And then go ahead and send that one. Alright, and now for the last one, we're going to enter 75, 22. And now we're done with these types of puzzles, and we're just going to be deactivating lights. So go ahead and send that one, and then you can make your way up to the top. Follow this path here until we get to the next light, and we can deactivate it. Once you get down here, deactivate the two lights. And then we can head back the way we came. Activate this coil here and then head to the left a little bit and activate the next coil right here. And then follow this path for a bit to the next light. Activate the coil and head to the left and deactivate the light. Now we can head back the way we just came, so reactivate the coil and make your way back up top. Activate this coil right here, and then follow this path to the next one. Activate this coil here, and then follow the path to the next light and deactivate it. Now we can head back the way we came. Activate the coil up here, and then follow the path. Activate the coil, and follow the path to the left.
deactivate the light up here, and then continue following the path. You want to be careful in this next section here, you can accidentally fall off the ledge, so make sure you don't do that. Deactivate the next light here, and then after you do that, go ahead and fall off since it's actually faster than heading all the way back. We'll respawn back at the start here, and then you can follow the path for a bit. Continue following the path all the way over to the right side. And again, you want to be careful in this next section, you can accidentally fall off the ledge. There's going to be another light that we can deactivate, so go ahead and do that. After you deactivate this light here, we can go ahead and fall off the ledge. And we'll respawn back at the start, and we can head straight to the first coil. And we can activate that and then follow the path. Be careful not to fall off, deactivate the light. And after you do that, fall off the ledge on the left side, and you'll respawn back at the start, head straight, and activate the coil in front of us. Follow the path to the next coil just in front of us here. And we're going to deactivate this one, and follow the path for a bit. Activate this coil here, and then we can follow the path. Alright, and once you get to this platform over here, that's going to be the end of the game, and that'll unlock your final achievement. So that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like on the video if the guide was helpful, and please consider subscribing for more guides just like this if you're new here. And as always, I will see you guys next time. Shout out to my Patreon supporters, Chance Man G1, Tim G84, Fazo Prime Pirate, Monarch Reptar, and Stacy Mackey. Last but not least, shout out to my legend supporter, Niku Noni Oi. If you guys would like to support me on Patreon, you can do so at patreon.com slash cheetahsguides.